Hi, it's the Ross and Vegan Gal here, and today is part three of my series of videos for a brand called Foringer Project. And I'm doing, I believe right now, a total of six videos, um, and they have so many different products, and I can't do them all, unfortunately, so I have to kind of pick and choose, and I'm trying to choose some of their newer products um, that are um, really interesting and unique, but I, hopefully in the future, maybe I'll do more. And this, um, I was going to kind of spread them out a little more, but I'm kind of doing them a little more uh, together. Uh, the first the first and the second were spread out, but now I'm going to do them, I think, all kind of consecutively. So, and I will also have a link below to their website so you can check out all their products. They're so unique and so interesting and so good, I have to say that. So, um, this again is... Um, one of their interesting products, it's called their half and half. Now, this is something that people use in uh, in a coffee beverage, type of beverage, but I don't drink coffee. So, first of all, I'm going to try it as is because it sounds like a really good drink just the way it is. Um, and just tell you a little bit more about it. It is dairy-free. Um, they say to shake well. It's USDA certified organic. They use cashew milk, coconut cream. So, it's a dairy-free half and half alternative, 16 ounce, uh, 16 fluid ounce bottle. Um, let's see what else it says. Vegan, dairy-free, lactose-free, soy-free. Uh, let's see what else. It's also certified vegan, kosher, uh, non-GMO. And so they're saying two tablespoons is a serving. Um, I guess if people use half and half, I don't know how much they would use. And it says, shake well because separation is natural, it's perishable, you keep refrigerated, and enjoy within seven days of opening. So right now the bottle's sealed, so as soon as you open it, they say you use within seven days. But sometimes things hold up longer, and the company was also established in 2013, and it says California Crafted, made with plants. So they've been around for a good amount of time. So the base, like I said, is cashew milk, coconut cream, you also use dates, sunflower, lecithin, etc. You could check that all out on their, um, on their site for more details um, and kind of everything else is not really much of anything as far as calories or nutritional value but it's just an, uh, an alternative option for those people who do like a half and half so I'm gonna shake this up and try it out um, and see what it tastes like just the way it is because I wouldn't use it with coffee because again I don't drink coffee I might actually add it to different things I was even thinking you know if I make like an oatmeal or some kind of a grain and I want to kind of have to have a little more like kind of a liquid kind of like a soupy type you know uh, dish I might do it like that and yeah it smells good because it's from the um from the dates the dates actually make it smell really nice um, so let me try that and see what I think it's got a little bubble on the top so I think I need to make sure that bubble goes down before I pop that off so that it doesn't make a mess I'm gonna pour it in a little cup here so you could show you what it looks like it's kind of a little thicker because of the lecithin I mean, you can see that it has kind of like a beige-ish color because of the, um, I guess, the ca um, cashew milk and the coconut cream. But it does smell good. I can kind of smell the dates. So I'm going to take a little, as a drink. Mmm, it's, it's mild. So, because on the label, it says zero sugar. So it's really kind of very um, subtle. You don't really taste the dates much. So yeah, if I would have it as a drink, I might add things to it like cinnamon, something I might add to it. Um, maybe I would add a little cacao powder or carob powder. Or I might add it and use it like in a smoothie if you wanted to have this as a base for a smoothie. Um, <laughs> ginger powder I would probably put in there. I love ginger. If you want to make it a little sweet, you could put things like I have like um, coconut sugar or, or like um, if you have like a is like also like a, a coconut nectar you could use more like a syrupy type thing or if some people use honey um, I'm trying to think what else I have like for sweetener I also have stevia people call it stevia it's actually stevia that's a different story but I have a video on on sweeteners um, that you could check out if you want to know the history of it it's called uh, sugar is not a food group that's from way many years back but um, that's also you can use I'm just trying to think what else you could put in there. It'd be fun. You know, different superfoods like maca, um, acai powder. You know, there's so many different types. There's mesquite. There's lacuma. You could make it into a protein drink. You can add hemp protein or other kinds of protein. So you could actually 
make this into something else. Even though it's called half and half, most of the time the products that like I've been reviewing already from Farger, I kind of use them all differently than what they're meant for. And you can. You can play with it and use it in other things. Even in a pudding, I might do that in like a chia pudding. Um, I might use some of that as a base instead of using water. Um, so yeah, like I said, the options are really endless. You know, like I say, it's meant as a half and half for, um, I guess, like your coffee, but it doesn't have to be. That's just what it's called. So, yeah, so it's it's nice. Like I say, it's mild. It's not, this. there's like no sweetness to it because it's zero sugar in the, even though it has dates, it's like, it's of a label, it says zero grams. So, but I think it's a nice alternative. And again, if you want to have it as a drink, um, it's not, it doesn't say there's any protein in it either, even though there's, cashew milk and coconut cream, I would think it would have some amount, but on the label it doesn't, doesn't tell you that it has any. So, um, so yeah, so I think it's, it's a nice product. It's different definitely than what you would get um, in the market if you're trying to go dairy free. And it's a very clean uh, product. So again, this is the Farger Project, organic dairy free half and half, using cashew milk and coconut cream as the main base. And it's, um, you know, like an alternative to your traditional dairy product. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.